you guys, it's me Rachel here with Sense of Tempo Penny Corso. Wanting to do a video for you guys on how I um, start to um, stack puppies, which is how we evaluate puppies. And so Savannah is filming, but normally she would be taking pictures. And um, and so all my dogs are wanting my my stuff. So. Uh, important thing is to have multiple things that the puppy might want um, or be interested in because not all puppies are interested in the same stuff. And so this particular puppy um, has never been stacked before. The cat hears it. Oh, I know. Bad cat. Uh, this particular puppy has never been stacked before. Um, now I will say this is cat food, wet cat food, um, oh. um, not what we've been, here's a paper towel, not, um, not what we normally use. We usually use wet dog food, but we've been trying to catch a cat recently. And so, uh, we have some wet cat food on hand. So that's what I'm using. I have a little plastic cup over here that I'm putting stuff in. Okay, so this is a grooming table. The reason I like it is because it has I'll this show the, the, um, the textured um, surface, I'll which the makes it surface. much easier for the puppies um, to be able to grasp upon. That's kind of dirty right now because we've been using it to put stuff on. Other than something slippery like a like a table. But it's very easy to clean up. You just spray it down, clean it up, um, and so. So the first thing you want to do is make sure the puppy feels comfortable, kind of loosen them up a little bit. They're, they always want to do what we call bracing, which is where you'll see here she's kind of, oh, she's doing this whole thing. That's fine. Um, and Batista. Then, then you can try standing them up. And what I like to do is then you bring over the treat so you can kind of say, hey. And sometimes they're too scared to even mess with what you have. And sometimes it's the problem of what you have. We'll try this. One of those is uh, pate. Another one is uh, salmon. And we have some leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. Christmas, Christmas no, Christmas. Or sorry, Christmas. <laughs> Thanksgiving would have been way so too far away. So she just woke up too, so whoops, a little scared there. Um. Now these are very young puppies, and most people don't stack out this young. I like trying to get them used to the idea of stacking pretty early on. That way, um, that way, whenever it counts, when they're older, they're better at stacking, and I can actually evaluate them better. I'm gonna scoot up a little bit closer so we can. So she is not interested in any of these. That's Let's okay though. Um, so sometimes you can just start working with them a bit. And so what we're going to try to do is get her rear feet out behind her, pick up the tail. And we just, and the idea is not to get a perfect stack on her right now. The idea is simply to get her used to the idea of stacking. Um, one of the things that you can do that I learned in Croatia is to loosen them up a bit, you can rock them. So we rock. And then we try to put those front feet in. We can hear our elk outside. Yeah, our resident elk. And by elk, we mean Mad Martigan. Yep. Here we go. And look at that. Other than that front foot right there, but even then, it's really good for her. Yep. She's, she's, she's like, try the food maybe. Maybe she'll loosen up a little bit more now. Um, and like I said, the, the idea is not to get a perfect stack. The idea is just to loosen her up just a little bit. Here, try that. She's like, no, that's not going to happen. She's like, it's cat food, not dog food. The cat's over there trying to go in the, the, oh, the room. Go. So now she's like, actually, that doesn't taste so bad. I'm going to distract her by putting it there in front of her. Zo, get out of mama's area I'm trying to put of working. 
There's some puppies that just don't have an interest in, like, treats and stuff. Yeah, and that's fine. Um, and what you want to do is place the front foot here. Okay, who quit? So go lay down. Is that so, or is it the puppy? Mm, I don't know. Okay, but that's so not bad. That's not bad. I should oh. try to sit down. When they sit, you just pick them back up. There we go. My Mort again, quiet that's down. A, that's a pretty decent stack right there. I like it. I'll like take it. a look here. Yeah, I like bad. it a lot. I like it not a bad. lot. So that's a good Ooh, stack. Geez, almost... And then we give them some love. Oh that, way we, that way they think it's positive. We have a positive well, they don't think it is positive. It is positive. That way they think it's positive. It is positive. And I will try a different one. True, it's Let's me. Try my favorite, although she's really stubborn about the stack. And she's not my favorite because she's like structurally the best. Wee, she's my favorite. Wee, wee, just because wee. I love her personality. There's no way to know. Whose structure is the best right now? Because, the, to be perfectly honest, they are way too young to be able to tell anything right now. Now you'll notice this puppy's not near as afraid getting up here, and that's because I've worked with this puppy a lot. She's out with me all the time because I have a soft spot for her. And, um, and, you and so she's going to be a lot more confident being on this table because she trusts me. Um, Sadly, we can't give all 13 puppies individual attention, though. Oh, where are you going? We'll try the turkey. She's a little too... Sometimes they can be a little too into a food. Um, Batista, you look so sad over there. And it can actually be somewhat of a distraction. Um, oh, that's not too bad right there. So, um, sometimes you can put the food out in front of them. Kind of get their attention a bit. Um, when they're bracing like that, let's see if we'll rock her a little bit. Okay. We're gonna, I like to try to lift from here, just to try to get those front feet up underneath them like that. That's much better. Move the front feet back a little bit. We'll stack the rear out. Yeah, she's she's not straight in the right now. She's good. Well, I mean, she's so too, far too young to tell that, but yeah. Oh, she heard Zoe. See, I kind of moved it. Oop. Her head's really nice. Yeah, her head is definitely her her strong suit. But like I said, these puppies are much too young to be evaluating. The, but the, but they're not too young to start learning the process because once they start learning the process, then we can actually... They kind of, that was a bit overstacked. Yeah. But yeah, one of the things that I do whenever they do that is I will actually take my hand and put it over the food thing, and which puts it over the muzzles, you can see here. And that's my way of kind of preventing them from continuing to push too far forward for the for the food. Um, She's that elk. Yeah, he's so loud. We have there's coyotes out on the neighbor's property right now, and um, that's why he's acting a fool right now. <laughs> Him and, and so him. you see how I'm putting my hand there. So also another point is where you hold it up affects the stack so for example um if you hold it up like this it's gonna oops, i made a mess then you're gonna make this the front look straighter and, and square. smaller um it's better to bring it out like that so the puppy is stretching for it in the middle right a better view of the front angulation so I'll put her back it's nine minutes and 37 seconds, by the way, just letting you know. There's Zo, 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 Batista, Belladonna, Miss 
this preggers over here. Belladonna. Let me get a paper towel real quick. Mm -hmm. Batista, I love you, boy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. We got little Miss Pregnant underneath. Yeah, I showed Chilling, that. Chilling, watching. Okay. My little cup here. Alright. So this puppy has never been stacked. She's never been on the table. Some are better than others. Oh, well, that's Miss Drama Queen pink collar. Yep. So she's a little hesitant. That's okay. There we go. A little overstacked there. Those feet are too far in front of her, by the way. That's fine. She's bracing. We call that bracing. Sometimes what you can do is you can bring a food item forward. Now, what you want to do is move the feet. A little forward when you know that the front feet are too far back there you go and as you saw I put my finger down on the muzzle that way I'm stopping her from pushing too far forward on the food and she actually stacked pretty well I saw that it was really good <clears throat> so she's bracing again like I said bracing that's fine um, once again we'll try to move her front feet back and um, Right now she's doing a C curve where she's curving her body to the side and that's fine. Yeah, she looks like she's going to fall over. <laughs> yeah, they'll do that. They'll, they will literally lean into you. Totally fine. Preacher's done that. Um, you, it's good to distract them with the food real quick. Bring in those feet. That way they're standing. Kind of pet them a little bit. She's like, what are you doing? I just want to eat. Take your time, stack out the rear. Whoop, she's leaning over. You pick her back up. Distract her with the food again. Boom, oh, we had a moment. So that's where it's good to push her back a little bit with the food. She's pushing into it too much. So you see I'm kind of pushing back a bit with my forefinger into her muzzle to kind of push her head back some because the more they push the worse they make their the worse they make their rear look by straightening it out too much okay not a problem I'm gonna try to loosen her up a little bit tail up that was a good start, right? Pretty good. Hey, for a first timer. For a first timer. Yeah. Is that all you want to stack or do you want to stack more? One more. You guys see me in the TV? We're gonna do our little Mad Mortigan lookalike. Well, he's big. This is our Mad Mortigan lookalike. Hair tight. He always looks like he has, has this don't touch me face. That's alright. <sighs> Gently set him down. He sees the food. He's interested. Doesn't realize he needs to lift his head a little bit. That's fine. There we go. These puppies' feet are fantastic. Really nice, tight feet. Did my Mordigan ever have feet problems? Uh, no, but their mother has excellent feet. No, I was just asking. Oh, you, like... he's like, I'm into the, I'm into the turkey. That's first. So he's kind of doing this thing where he's a little too distracted by what I'm doing. So I'm just 
kind of waiting for him to be slightly distracted by the food, which he's not. <laughs> so we're going to try to loosen him up a little bit. See how his, see how he's stretching out? That's what we want. Watch out, have foot in front of him. There we go. Try to set him down a little bit. <laughs> Bring that in a bit. There we they go. They loosen up a little bit too much yeah, sometimes. Some of them do. Not always. Some of them do. There oh, we go. There we go. Hey, too. Not bad. He's sick. Let me sit down. Yep. We'll give him the food. He pushed it away with his tongue. Yeah, he's, he's learning. There we go. Pick it up. So he's being slightly touch sensitive. Which is fine. There we go. Now we got him distracted. Perfect. There we go. There you go. There go. And there's a good stack. Perfect though. And sometimes you will get a millisecond, which is why I really suggest, if you can, um, with high quality video, doing short little videos. So start the video whenever you start stacking the puppy and then end it as soon as you're done. And then you go into a video editor and you take snapshots of those little moments in time that you get where the puppy is in a good stack. Because if you don't, you could be at it all day. Right, you could be at it all day. Here, you want some turkey for being a good boy? No. <laughs> no? Sit down. So anyway. Let me get well, that facial expression. That was a short little video on how we start stacking our puppies and why we start stacking our puppies early before they're actually ready. And that's, like I said, to make sure that they're ready for it. Um, these puppies are going to be five weeks old on Saturday, I believe. Tomorrow. Here's your baby, five weeks old. Happy New Year's, everybody. Yeah, Happy New Year's.